if he never did classic physique and competed in the open division throughout his whole career, boom. Now that's something cool, right? Boom. How about that? Hello Superset Maniacs and welcome back to another vintage Superset Man Photoshop video. This is Chris Bumstead, the 6 time classic physique Mr. Olympia and boom. This is my Photoshop prediction for Seabum at the Prague Pro Open class where I enhanced his physique just as much as he could realistically improve in 5 short weeks after the 2024 Mr. Olympia. I have a full dedicated video for all the 8 mandatory poses so make sure you check it out in the description. But due to popular request, in this video we're gonna photoshop Chris Bumstead as he would look if he never did classic physique and competed in the open division throughout his whole career. Boom! Now that's something cool right? And to prove to you guys that thumbnail wasn't just clickbait, boom, how about that? Like most open bodybuilders, he would eventually have gone bald as well. Before we get to all the fun stuff, because I have all the other 7 mandatories prepared as well, someone wants to send you a message. Alright guys, listen up. I've been watching this guy Super Setman and he's fucking onto something with these videos, alright? So I had this idea, let's help this dude out and absolutely wreck the YouTube algorithm today. Most of his videos get a few thousand, maybe 10 or 20,000 views, but his top one, the one where he photoshopped Arnold to look like he's competing today, that thing's got 381,000 views. I think it's time to beat that fucking record, but Super Set Man needs your help. So here's the deal. I need every single one of you to smash that fucking like button right now. Usually like barely a tenth of you actually hit it, so let's change that shit. And make sure to drop a comment, anything to wake up that damn algorithm. And last but not least, if you're not subscribed yet, hit that fucking subscribe button. You can always bail later if you're not down with his content, but for now, let's just fuck with the algorithm and blow this thing past Arnold's video. I mean, come on, pretty sure I've got more fans than him at this point. Let's fucking go. You heard it from Seabum himself, guys. Let's get this channel to 30,000 subscribers. And now, to put my money where my mouth is, let me show you the rest of the poses. Front lat spread, arguably Chris Bumstead's best pose. Again, this is him from Classic Physique and boom, enter mass monster Chris Bumstead. As you can see, he's got a lot of muscle and fullness everywhere, from his chest to his arms, and of course, the lats. The lower body has improved quads and calves, and also a larger waist as well, which would inevitably come together as he gained more mass overall. So this is how Chris would have looked in the first two front poses if he competed only in open bodybuilding throughout his whole career. Of course I'm not gonna focus on his bald head further on, that was just for fun. I don't want to make this video about his hairstyle. Next let's see the side chest, probably his strongest pose in the classic division as the front lat spread isn't mandatory there so this is him in classic physique and boom this is mass monster C bum in the side chest. Man this has gotta be the best transformation so far. Now of course this video is just for fun and it's all my imagination but if C bum looked anything close to this in the open division this would be by far the best side chest of all time. Let's see the other side pose next, the side triceps which we don't see too often from Chris Bumstead since it's not a mandatory in classic. This is actually him from 2020 and this is boom mass monster C bum in the side triceps. As we can see he's got more mass everywhere from his chest to his shoulders, arms, triceps, side leg and midsection again as that would be inevitable once he gained more size. Seeing both side poses side by side makes me realize what a monster I've created here. And it's not even that exaggerated in my opinion. I mean, it's photoshop but he still looks like a real bodybuilder. Do you wanna see mass monster Seabum against 2003 Ronnie Coleman? There's another reason for you to help make this video go viral. But let's get to the back poses since we're talking about Ronnie, this is Chris in classic again and boom, this is mass monster C bum. I might have gone a step too far with this one but wow, isn't this amazing guys. Chris has an incredible frame and if he had spent 8 years in open bodybuilding instead of classic, who knows what he could have become. Maybe he would have looked close to what we've created here. 
How's that Ronnie comparison looking at this point? I think it's worth a shot. Backlat spread is next and boom, enter Mass Monster Seabum. This is what a 300 pound Chris Bumstead could have looked like in this pose. Do you think this could have been achievable in theory? Seabum definitely has the genetics, but does he have what it takes to take it to the next level from all points of view? Could he ever look like this if, say he's healthy and goes to open bodybuilding for a few years? Those are both back poses and I think this is even more impressive than the front and side poses we've seen so far. Let me know in the comments below which are your favorites. Absentize is next and this is classic Chris Bumstead and boom, this is Mass Monster Seabum. Again, he gained more muscle everywhere from top to bottom, from the arms to the legs, from the lats to the chest and midsection again. Everything is enhanced here, just as it should be for a Mass Monster version of Chris Bumstead. This pose would probably go head to head with Andrew Jacked on the open division stage. The most muscular pose is next, probably the one you've all been waiting for. A mass monster should look like a monster in this pose. This is classic Chris Bumstead and boom, this is mass monster C Bum. I definitely went a step beyond with this transformation. Chris looks incredible here. This look is worthy of being called a mass monster. With Chris incredible frame if he packed a lot of muscle onto that, he wouldn't look too much different from this. But yeah, this would be pretty insane for sure. Let's see these last two poses side by side. A very powerful look from our Mass Monster C-Bomb project today. This was so fun to put together and I really hope you had just as much fun watching it. This is what Chris Bumstead looks like in my head as an open division competitor. A full open competitor doing multiple off seasons in this division. Of course, he wouldn't look anything close to this in Prague, that's for sure. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Huge shout out to Super Set Man for putting this one together and throwing me in the mix. Always cool to see the different takes on bodybuilding and how people break down the details. If you're not already following him, go show some love on his channel. He's been grinding and putting out some awesome content for you guys. Remember, hit that like button if you enjoyed it, leave a comment, and if you're new here, hit subscribe. Let's keep pushing the sport forward together. Thanks for watching, keep killing it, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.